Welcome students. Today we're going to continue our lesson on the nature of liquids and pick up on part B of our original uh, virtual lesson. So today we're going to talk about boiling point and under what condition does boiling occur. So when we talk about a liquid, it is heated to a temperature to where the kinetic energy is higher than the force of attraction. And when that takes place, you have it go, the particles going into a state of vaporization. And the definition of vapor, we're going to get that here in a little bit. It is the state in which a substance that is typically a solid or a liquid at room temperature is in the gaseous state. So... The bubbles on the surface is showing that it is escaping and it's overcoming attraction and it's overcoming the atmospheric pressure that is holding it in place. So let's get boiling point. So boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is just equal to the external pressure on the liquid. So this right here, you want to get this into your notes. Very important. Boiling point, we're gonna get another definition in a little bit. This is called normal boiling point, but there's a difference. Uh, is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is just equal to the external pressure on the liquid. That has a big deal when we talk about the pressure of the gas above the liquid. So we'll talk on that a little bit more. Because of the fact that liquid boils when its vapor pressure is equal to the external pressure. So if I have this container right here, I'm just gonna put this thing like that. And inside of here, I have some liquid. And we have this external vapor pressure. Say we have 1.0 atmospheres. In order for this liquid to evaporate means its vapor pressure has to equal that 1.0 atmospheres. And then it can start to evaporate. So that's what we're gonna talk a little bit about. Because the atmospheric pressure is lower at higher altitudes, boiling point decreases at higher altitudes. So, if you're at sea level and you go up to, into a mountain, the boiling point is going to be lower up here than it is. Boiling point here is going to be higher because at this top section, you have less particles of air, so therefore less atmospheric pressure. So here is a nice uh, chart to show us what we're talking about. So we have here water and at sea level we have 101.3 kilopascals and at 70 degrees celsius nothing really is happening but when you get to 100 degrees celsius we know that to be the boiling point of water you can see this is starting to escape at sea level uh, the boiling point and the vapor pressure is equal and the water will boil. Now, if you go to the top of a high mountain, in this case here, it's talking about Mount Everest, look what's happening. Less atmospheric pressure, 70 degrees Celsius. So one of the things I had planned to do in the classroom was I was gonna demonstrate, I was gonna make water boil somewhere at around 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, you would be able to stick your finger into that water and it would not, be hot, it'd be just warm. And I would put that inside of this uh, machine that we have and I would suck all of the air particles out and you would see what happened. I would be, create almost a complete vacuum and the water would begin to boil at around that 50 degrees Celsius. So when we get back to the classroom, we will definitely have to uh, do that activity. So. Here is a chart that talks about the vapor pressure versus the temperature. At a lower external pressure, the boiling point decreases. At a higher external pressure, the boiling point increases. Everybody is familiar with a pressure cooker. So what happens inside of a pressure cooker? 
you put it on the stove, you have a container locked on top and you have a little safety valve on the top to leave some of the pressure out. And now it boils at a much higher temperature. That's how it cooks food much quicker inside of a pressure cooker. Boiling point is a cooling process. It's very similar to what we're talking about. The, the particles with the highest average kinetic energy, they escape first. That's why steam burns, this is what it's talking about right here. Steam burns can be really bad because they have the highest kinetic energy. That's how they've escaped. So if you get that on your skin, it's gonna be worse than actually if you had stuck your hand into that boiling liquid. So I mentioned normal boiling point. So here is the definition for us. Please get this into your notes. Normal boiling point. This is at 101.3 kilopascals, or we remember our conversions, 1.0 atmospheres. And here is normal boiling point of some substances. Here's water that we're very familiar with, and that's 100 degrees Celsius. And you may think, well, why is that one so high? Well, remember hydrogen bonding that takes place. We talked about that previously. That is the attractions of that hydrogen to the unshared electron on the neighboring oxygen, and that creates a special type of bond called hydrogen bonding. All right, so checkpoint question. Is the boiling point of water at the top of Mount McKinley, the highest point in North America, higher or lower than in Death Valley? Think about that for a second. Very high altitude versus very low. Come up with your answer. All right, well, hopefully you picked that it's going to be much lower on the top of Mount McKinley than in Death Valley uh, because less atmospheric pressure on the top, less boiling point. The temperature is much lower. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all of 13.2, the nature of liquids. There's some key concepts that we talked about and some of the vocabulary words. Hopefully you took good notes and thank you for watching.